Welcome to the Clipsal 500 Mindset of a Champion video series, where I interviewed drivers after the race, was flanked by the military for the greater protection of society at large, hung around in the pits and, in general, at least tried to look cool, hung around the drivers after the race. Hey buddy, way to go. Had a ride in a 28 supercar simulator. Whoops, hang on guys, here we go. Got down in the pits after the race. Got underneath the bonnet of a supercar after a race. Boy, feel that engine heat. Looked all the way down pit lane. Excuse me sir, please get behind the white line. Got down deep into a V8 supercar cabin. Driver's side. Got down to basics in the workshop. And of course, check out the sponsors. Just listen to that noise. <laughs> Hi guys, this is John Pike from JohnRPike.com. Welcome to the Mindset of Champions video series. You know, guys, I love V8 supercar racing. I love the action, the excitement, the adrenaline, the noise, the competition, the intensity, the smell, the sight, and the sounds. I love it when they go down to the wire. And most of all, I really love the finish line. There are just so many lessons for us in life and in business that we can learn from racing and any kind of sporting endeavour. So right now, buckle up, let's get ready to delve straight into the mindset of champions. In this first video, I interviewed Stephen Richards, V8 supercar champion and two times Bathurst 1000 championship winner at the famous Mount Panorama circuit. Hi guys, it's John Pike here with Stephen Richards. Stephen, what is the number one thing to keep in mind to have an attitude of a champion? Oh, I think an attitude of a champion is you have to smile a lot and enjoy it. That's a, that's a pretty important part. Okay, and how do you prepare in terms of mindset for coming up to a race? Oh, I think you just have to get you know your, your usual routine that you that you have have known to to um, process in, in terms of the lead up to an event. Yeah, it's very important just to keep everything very routine and, and do the things that work for you. Okay, and as you said, have that positive mental attitude. Yeah, exactly. I think you know the, the more you can keep things um, the same and similar to your to your regular everyday preparation, it's always the best way to go. All right. Thanks very much. Right. Thank you. There's two things I'd like to zero in on, on what Stephen just said, and that is to smile and enjoy. You know, nothing beats a positive mental attitude. None of these drivers would be doing what they do if they didn't love and enjoy it. And business, by the same token, is actually meant to be fun. You know, one of the greatest liberations is being able to do what you love and enjoy. A positive mental attitude is going to impact how you play the game and how you run the race. You know, business, as well as racing, is a mindset game. So eliminate negativity because there's nothing that will destroy a driver or an entrepreneur, entrepreneur more than a negative mindset. So before the race, before you buckle up, before you pick up the phone, take time to get in the zone. Put on, get into a positive mental attitude and a mindset. Smile on the phone, because as they say, people will sense it. They'll pick up your level of vibration. Before you talk to staff or anybody in your team member, have a positive mental attitude, because it'll be infectious. People will feel your level of vibration. <laughs> So remember, be positive, smile and enjoy what you're doing. Run a great race and I'll see you at the finish line. This has been John Pike from JohnRPike.com with the first video in the series Mindset of a Champion.